charging hybrid batteries. Now, there's a number of batteries. First, the 14-volt accessory battery. A dead 14-volt battery will not activate the power relay. Now, the 14-volt battery must have enough charge to close these power relays if you're going to get the system up and running. Use a quality battery charger to maintain this voltage. If the vehicle has a boost mode, activate it. The Ford Escape and the Mercury Mariner has a special activate mode. In that mode, the 14-volt battery can power the DC to DC converter in a reverse manner to charge the high-voltage battery pack on these vehicles. That's not true of everyone. Toyota specifically would like to see their vehicles return to their dealers for battery charging. Check the owner's manual for specifics, though. If the vehicle has a starter like a Honda, the procedure is identical to a non-hybrid. You use a starter, and it starts the internal combustion engine. But remember, this vehicle relies on the internal combustion engine almost all the time anyway. It never runs on electric only. Some vehicles have a jump start terminal like this one on the Toyota we have here. And it's for powering up the 12 volts power to close the power contactors so you can get the vehicle up and running. This is the boost mode we were talking about on the Escape and the Mariner. You push this button, the red light comes on, and it will start powering up the high voltage battery pack. Now, it may take quite a while, up to 24 minutes for this to take place, so be patient. But some manufacturers are working on special chargers, Medtronics we've been talking about before, which can be used to tar- charge the high-voltage batteries. That's in the future. Right now, no one is doing it. There's only a half dozen of them in the world or so. What you need to focus on now is keeping that 12-volt battery, 14-volt battery, or whatever you call it, up and running. And in the future, we'll be looking at charging the high-voltage battery pack. 